It's our turn to make sandwiches for the soccer team. We totally forgot. Cool. There are eight players, and each one gets a sandwich. <laughs> That's eight sandwiches. Each sandwich needs two slices of bread. How many slices do we need all together? To solve any problem, first you have to understand it. How can you understand a word problem? Try repeating the problem in your own words to help you understand. Right, Moby. We want to know how many slices of bread are needed to make eight sandwiches. You may want to underline or circle important information in the problem and underline the question. Look for key words that give clues about which operation to use, like addition or subtraction. The next step is to make a plan. How do you plan to solve a word problem? A strategy is a plan for solving a problem or reaching a goal. You can use one strategy or a few different ones. You can draw pictures, or you can use models or counters. You can even act out the problem. You can also make a table or chart, or write a number sentence to help you solve. As long as you solve the problem correctly, you can use whatever strategy you want. Find the one that works best for you. After you plan your strategy, you try it out. I'm going to draw pictures. Let's see. There are eight players, and each gets two slices of bread. Now I count up all the slices. We need 15 slices of bread. How can you make sure you solved the problem? After you solve, look back at the question to make sure you answered it. We wanted to know how many slices of bread we need to make eight sandwiches. And I think we need 15 slices. You're right, Moby. You should always check your work. Hey, I made a mistake in my drawing. That's okay, Moby. Mistakes happen. That's why you need to check over your work. We need 16 slices of bread. This loaf costs $3. I'm paying with a $5 bill. How much change should I get back? First, understand the problem. I need to know how much money I should get back. Second, Make a plan to solve. I'm going to use mental math as my strategy. I have a $5 bill, which is equal to five $1 bills. The bread costs $3. That means I should get $2 back. Now I need to check my work. I can write a number sentence to check. $5 minus $3 is equal to Two dollars. Remember, when you come across a word problem, just follow these steps. First, understand the problem. Next, make a plan to solve it. Then, solve the problem. Finally, check your work. If your plan doesn't work, that's okay. You can just make another plan to solve the problem. Moby, we better make these sandwiches. What kind did you make? Nannies, raisins, and cardboard? <laughs>